In the Qatari Hotel, Hamas's outgoing leader made a pitch for the future of the organization he leaves behind. Hamas should no longer be designated extremist, anti-Semitic, terrorist, rather flexible, developing and ready to do business. We shall not wave an inch of the Palestinian home soil, no matter what the recent pressures are and no matter how long the occupation. Hamas rejects any idea except liberating the home soil entirely and completely, although it does not necessarily mean we recognize the Zionist entity or give up any of our Palestinian rights. At the heart of it all, a new charter, one that replaces the founding document of 1988, which called for the destruction of Israel and defined Jews as a people, the enemy. Now the enemy is what Hamas terms the Zionist enterprise. It won't recognize Israel, but will accept a Palestinian state alongside it, as per the 1967 borders. Hamas considers the establishment of a Palestinian state sovereign and complete on the basis of the June 4th, 1967, with Jerusalem as its capital and the provision for all the refugees to return to their homeland is an agreeable form that has won the consensus among the movement members. In Gaza, Hamas officials watched a statement that sought also to satisfy hardliners by saying despite that apparent compromise, full liberation of the homeland was still the goal. Well, this is an obvious attempt by Hamas to fool the world, to pull the wool over the eyes of the world. And it's not the first time that tyrants and terrorists have lied to the world to alleviate pressure. One unanswered question whether the new charter could lead to Hamas participation in any peace process as part of the Fatah-dominated Palestine Liberation Organization. For Gazans dealing with economic collapse, the debate seems a long way removed. In the Shati refugee camp, traders say they're struggling just to sell at a loss to customers with little to spend. All the Palestinian factions are looking after themselves and their agendas. The people are the victims. To have electricity, water, work, that is what human beings need. I don't care who controls the politics. The Hamas leadership is well aware of the situation on the streets that it controls. And after 10 years in power, and for all it blames Fatah, its rival Palestinian faction, and the Israelis for the situation, there's plenty of blame here being directed at Hamas as well. And that's one motivating factor for changing its charter. The new document omits Hamas's relationship with the Muslim Brotherhood and explicitly rejects any interest in the internal politics of Arab states. Enough, perhaps, to encourage Egypt to ease the economic restrictions on Gaza's southern border. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Gaza.